What's going on guys? So I've been doing music seriously for two decades now and I think I finally came to a place where I can actually name my top five pieces of studio gear of all time. Now, this list will not just include keyboards or synthesizers. This will cover the literal top five best pieces of gear in five categories. So that will include synthesizers, drum machines, virtual instruments or plugins, analog hardware and guitar pedals that I use on synthesizers. So I do currently own all of this gear and I bought it myself. So for better or worse, let's talk about it. So number five, my favorite drum machine, which is of course the Dave Smith Instruments Tempest. And while not just a drum machine, I've loved the Tempest ever since I bought it back in 2014. And there's no real way around it. At the time of its release, the Tempest was a beast and still is for those that want to take time to wrap their head around it. It's creators Dave Smith and Roger Lynn, who are geniuses in their own right, came together to collaborate on a tremendous instrument. And yes, I said instrument. The Tempest is not just a drum machine. It's a six voice analog synth, a very deep sequencer. And honestly, while I'm not a sound designer, I feel like it could be a sound designer's dream. While I'll never say that it's perfect, it's truly something you have to learn to enjoy. Number four, my favorite virtual instrument and plugin. Well, I've never actually talked about software on this channel ever, but I do have an obsession with one VSTi and one VSTi only, and that is Steinberg's Pad Shop 2 plugin. Now, this plugin is by far, and it's not even close, it's by far my favorite virtual instrument of all time, from massive pads to massive leads, and above all, granular, synthesis all in a pretty intuitive user interface. I think some people will overlook many of Steinberg's offerings like Retrolog and Pad Shop, but 100% there is something about importing a sound that you already have in a session and turning that sample into a lush soundscape. Now, as for the plugin, the audio plugin, well, even though I may feel a certain type of way about Waves upgrade business model, for me, the freaking Renaissance compressor is still my number one dynamics processor of all time. I don't know if it's the GUI or the simple controls, but I swear, I just know what I'm gonna get with this thing. There are obviously more expensive plugins and sonically better plugins, but dude, I know the Ren comp like too well, so trust me, You'll make more music if you spend time creating with what you already know. All right, number three, my favorite polyphonic analog synthesizer, duh, it's the Sequential Prophet 6. And have you heard enough about this yet? I'll make this quick. The Prophet 6 is no BS straightforward design really stood out in the era of modulation matrices, higher voice counts, and endless feature sets on an OLD screen. So Dave Smith in my mind said, fuck all that, let me make the ultimate grounded experience based on what the everyday musician might actually use. And the compact size is perfect for touring as a complimentary keyboard. I know some wished for 61 keys, but personally, I wouldn't want it any bigger. While it's not the deepest synth, it's amazing for that reason. For saying, what you see is what you get. No frills, it's all serene sonic simplicity.
So I'm jumping in here real quick. I had to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Lander. So yo, whether you're a bedroom beat maker, a seasoned vet, or a dreamer who's just ready to take their first sleep, the Lander suite of tools will guide you through every stage of your musical journey. You can create, collaborate, master, and distribute your music with Lander, you know? When I wanna master my songs quickly and distribute them, I use Lander. And now Lander Studio has tons of different ways to get you from creation to your music out in the real world. Now, why do I master my music with Lander? Well, one, it's fast and it's so quick in terms of streamlining from finished product to having your music on stream platforms like Apple Music and Spotify. And for those people who think getting your music distributed is hard or complicated, it literally is such few steps. You're never gonna find an easier way to do it. So yeah, use my code in the description or on screen right now to save yourself of 30% off. And check out lander.com. It's a cool place. All right, back to the video. All right, so number two, favorite guitar pedal that I use on synthesizers. And while over time, my pedal board has kind of changed, something never will. The Moger Foger 12 stage phaser is the one for me. And I dare to say that there is not a more sweet or better sounding analog phaser on the market. And maybe there never will be. Uh, I compared it with some new stuff and well, the MF-103 is just it. I wish I could articulate better how sexy this sounds. I'd say if you're making a sexy song, this Moger Foger will take the sultry level to the max. Uh, it's robust and has plenty of modulatable IO and it's beautiful. Uh, I don't think you can ask for more. So yeah, number one, my favorite piece of hardware outboard gear of all time. Obviously, I have many pieces of high-end gear like the Manly New Mu and the SSL Ultraviolet. The number one piece of hardware I love will always be the Valley People Dynamite. And while it's not great on everything, the Valley People Dynamite is an amazing compressor full of character and weight. It just has it. It never can be outshined by more contemporary hardware like the Distressor or the Mikey. If you go real soft, it's going to give you that forward flavor, just touching the peaks. And if you drive it hard, it's gonna destroy a drum bus, but in a good way. Software is great, but it struggles with extremes. While the Dynamite is not a jack of all trades, it is the master of what it does, hands down. So yeah, hit me in the comments section. I do wanna know what would be your top five pieces of gear, maybe in the same categories that I picked. Uh, I think that'd be cool for me to read. So anyways, remember to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.